congratulations on starting your treatment today. So what we have going on in there is you have a metal strut glued onto either the top or the bottom side teeth. And then on the bottom, you have an Invisalign aligner with a little bracket glued onto the back tooth. So that's so you can wear rubber bands from the top to the bottom. So again, you're gonna wear the rubber band all the time, only taking out to eat and brush. You wanna hook it onto the bottom hook first and then pull it up and let it kind of rest on that top hook there. If your rubber band does break or fall out at all during the day, just make sure you pop in a new one ASAP. So again, the really important thing with this treatment is wearing your bottom aligner all the time and wearing your elastic all the time. You're only taking those out to eat and brush. So the aligner and the rubber band are in there 22 hours a day. For your aligner on the bottom, we sent you home with some steps for success. You're gonna switch that every one to two weeks depending on what we wrote on your sheet. Always make sure it's the same day of the week. Switch at nighttime before bed so you have the whole night to kind of sit in a new aligner rather than pop a new one in and having you take it in and out during the day. So usually it's best to pop that new one in at bedtime. When you do switch to a new set, take your old set out and pop it in its bag that we gave you so you can save it in a shoebox, in a drawer somewhere. So in case something happens, say you're in number two, something happens to number two, it breaks, you lose it, then you at least have number one to go back into if you need it. To keep everything clean, make sure you're brushing every time you have a meal or a snack. So anytime you take your liners out, eat or drink anything besides plain water, make sure you're brushing so there's not food sitting up underneath your aligners throughout the day. To keep your aligner clean, you can brush it with a soft bristle toothbrush, little bit of toothpaste. You can also soak it in retainer cleaning crystals. We suggest Retainer Bright that you can get on Amazon. They also have other brands in stores such as Fresh Guard um, if you wanna get some while you're out shopping. If one of the tooth colored bumps comes off for the Invisalign, let us know. That's not a dire emergency. We can get that back on whenever it's convenient for you. But if one of the metal top struts comes off, let us know because you won't be able to wear your rubber bands anymore and we want to get that back on as soon as possible. It's also very important that you wear your aligner not just to move your teeth, but it's keeping the bite stable as you're moving it. So if you wear rubber band without wearing your bottom aligner, it can alter things big time. So make sure you're wearing those in combination. Once you're complete with the rubber band step, we will take this top strut off. We will get you fitted for aligners top and bottom, and then you'll get tooth color bumps on all the top teeth as well. So then you'll switch to just top and bottom Invisalign after that. With the metal appliance on the top, you just have to make sure you're not eating anything really sticky, chewy, gummy, or super hard crunchy that could break these guys off. Once we're done with this piece and you only have top and bottom Invisalign, then you can eat whatever you want. So just while you have these metal pieces in, you just have to be careful with things like that. Flossing with this carrier appliance is a little bit tricky because there's that bar there that may stop you. So just take any piece of floss and thread it underneath that bar there. If you can see, I thread it through and then I'm underneath that bar to floss in between the teeth there. To brush is just like normal, you're gonna brush the inside chewing surface the same. Um, just make sure you spend extra attention above and below this metal bar because sometimes things can hide above and below that. We're gonna give you some wax. If this bar bothers you at all, just take a little piece of wax and stick it on the metal parts. Usually there isn't too many sharp pieces on these so you shouldn't have too many issues with it, but just while your mouth's getting used to everything, you might have to use a little bit of wax in there. As you're wearing rubber bands, you might notice some mobility on some of these teeth you're wearing rubber bands to. You might notice these teeth come down a little further than the others. All that is normal. Again, we're moving things. It might look a little bit worse before it gets better, but trust me, that's the way everything goes. So biggest tips for success, wearing your aligner and your rubber bands 22 hours a day, all the time, only take them out to eat and brush. Make sure you're brushing after you take any aligner out. If any of your rubber bands snap or fall off, make sure you're replacing them so you're getting that wear all day. Be sure to review the sheet we sent you home with. If you have any further questions, just give our office a call and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Good luck.